In previous videos, we looked at the process of compounding, and also we looked at how you calculate the future value of an ordinary uh, annuity, an increasing annuity. Uh, in this video, we want to put these two ideas together. So let's consider the following kind of story. Uh, supposing you were just newly hired, and your uh, boss says, well, uh, I want to give you a, uh, a bonus because you signed. Uh, I want to give you uh, $1,000 a month. I'll make it the end of the month here. Uh, for each of the uh, month in the next year. 1000 here, 1000 there, uh, and so forth. Uh, last month here, you get 1000 too. Okay, and well, this is fine, but you say, well, you know, I just got some, uh, I need to buy some furniture or move to town. I really need uh, to have some money now. Okay, so the question would be, uh, what would be a fair uh, lump sum value at, uh, which is called the present value, a fair lump sum value right now that would be equivalent to uh, all of these series of $1,000 payments over the next month. Uh, would you take, for example, $11,000, $11,500? Uh, what would be the uh, a value of this series of payments in today's money? Well, we can look at this in the following way. We should, that we have an increasing annuity here, we can figure out what the value of, of this $1,000 series of $1,000 payments is going to be. Uh, so oh, let's see what that future value is going to be. Well, it would be $1,000 times, well, oh, we need an interest rate. Okay, so let's suppose this is going to be uh, compounded. We could put our $1,000 if the uh, employer gave it to us, we'd put it in the bank, supposing it's 6% a year uh, compounded monthly, that works out to be what? 0 0.06 over 12, uh, a half a percent each month. Okay, so this will be, uh, looking at the formula here, this will be 1.005 uh, raised to the 12 powers minus 1 divided by 0 0.005. Okay, so that will give us the future value of that. Let's see if we can calculate it out quickly here, or maybe not so quickly. We'll see what happens. Uh, okay, so, uh, well, let's use the uh, solver to do this. So if I go to, uh, in fact, I can't do it here, so I'm going to have to reset the calculator. Always. Okay. And solver. And we'll put in the data here. 12 months at 6% a year. No present value. The payments will be $1,000. Uh, we want to find the future values. We're doing the uh, payments monthly. Okay, so we'll solve for that. And we see it's the value is going to be, uh, let's say, uh, 12000 Three hundred uh, and what that was again uh, three hundred and thirty five dollars and fifty six cents. Okay, so that's what the value is going to come out to be if we uh, uh, had the lump sum out here. Now, what do we want to do? We want to find what the value of this will be, not at this point in time, but we want to find out what it's going to be back here. So how had, did we do this in the past? Well, looking at the formula for compounding, we see that that formula can adjust the value of money back and forth between time periods. So what we want to do is to take this amount of money and adjust it back from one year from now back to the current value. So how do we do that? Well, here is what the future value is going to be. We want to just multiply this expression then by what? One plus uh, 
0.005 raised to the minus 12 power. We'll assume that if we had this money today uh, and we put it into account, it would compound monthly. So we want to reverse the process. And here's what it is. Okay, and we can now see what that's going to be. Hopefully, the calculator works again. Okay, let's go. Well, we can actually use this the process here. We can uh, wipe out the payment. And since we have the future value in there, all we have to do is to solve now for the present value. So let's see if that solves. Okay, so that becomes $11,618. $11,618, and I think it was, what, uh, 93 cents. Okay, so what we've found then is that this series of $1,000 payments each month for a year is really equivalent to a lump sum contribution of $11,618 today. All right, let's see if we can put this whole idea together here. Uh, here was the calculation we did. So what was the way, and this now is going to be the present value, because we took the future value and adjusted it back to the present. So what was the formula for now the present value? Well, we basically took the R, that was here, and we took this expression, 1 plus I to the N minus 1 over I, and then when we were through, we multiplied that by this expression to adjust it back to the current, to the beginning time, at the minus n. Okay, so that's the expression. Now, we can simplify that, of course, uh, and this is the way it's normally done. Uh, I can multiply this term here through times each of these terms here. And what do I get? Well, I get r can make an R. And then this becomes 1 minus, and my minus 1 times this is 1 plus I to the minus N, and the whole thing is still divided by I, just like in the future value formula. So there we have uh, a formula for the present value of an inordinary annuity. Now, uh, this has lots of various applications. For example, uh, supposing you wanted to make a decision between leasing a car and buying a car. You would know what your lease payments are going to be each month for a certain length of time, and you would like to know what would be the equivalent uh, amount of money that you w would pay to buy that same car today. So you would figure out the present value of that series of payments. So that's just one application there. Well, thanks for watching.